Gibraltar insurance companies offer UK consumers the benefit of choice, competitively priced insurance and consumer protection. Let's take each of those in turn. Choice. The increased number of Gibraltar insurance companies operating in the UK means that UK consumers have increased choice. This means greater competition in the UK market and therefore helps to keep prices down. Competitively priced insurance. Gibraltar insurance companies operate at a, co a lower cost base than they would do in the UK. This is because of the outsourcing model that Gibraltar insurance companies use, whereby they outsource claims policy administration back to the UK. Gibraltar insurers are therefore able to pass these savings to UK consumers. Consumer protection. Gibraltar insurers offer the same level of consumer protection as they do in the UK. For example, the financial services compensation scheme applies equally in Gibraltar. So therefore this combination of choice, competitively priced insurance and consumer protection is good for the UK, it's good for Gibraltar and it's good for UK consumers. And in addition, Gibraltar insurance companies have been able to create thousands of jobs in the UK. The UK is a very important market for Gibraltar, but indeed Gibraltar is very important for the UK. This is a relationship of partners. Let me explain why. 90% of all insurance premiums written by Gibraltar insurance companies are sourced out of the UK. One in every five motor insurance policies sold in the UK are written by Gibraltar insurance companies. That is 20% of the UK market. Therefore, Gibraltar insurance companies provide capacity to the UK market, they help create competition and also help to keep prices down. In addition, Gibraltar insurance companies have helped to create thousands of jobs in the UK. This relationship, this partnership relationship between the UK and Gibraltar will even become more important as a result of Brexit, with each side playing on its strengths. And let me give you an example. Over the last few years, a number of Maltese insurance companies that write business in the UK have redomiciled to Gibraltar. As a result of Brexit, Maltese companies doing business in the UK will not be able to continue that business post-Brexit and any transitional arrangements which the UK will provide. We, Gibraltar, have been able to license these companies in record time. If those Maltese companies had chosen to redomicile directly to the UK, they wouldn't have been able to do it because, Gibraltar, because the UK does not have redomiciliation legislation. So therefore, Again, this is good for the UK, good for Gibraltar, good for UK consumers and in addition, thousands of jobs have been created in the UK market as a result of the Gibraltar insurance industry. First, as a result of Brexit, the map of the Gibraltar insurance industry has changed dramatically and is changing. Brexit means that those Gibraltar insurance companies that write EU business will not be able to do it post-Brexit. This is because passporting rights will no longer apply to Gibraltar insurance companies. So therefore, those companies in Gibraltar that either operate exclusively or predominantly in the EU market have had to look for alternatives. Brexit mitigation options available to them include portfolio transfers, transferring those portfolios out of Gibraltar to another EU domicile, redomiciling the company to another EU jurisdiction, for example, Malta, or indeed putting the portfolio in runoff and therefore focusing on the alternative markets available to them, which is the UK market. Secondly, I see consolidation in the UK insurance industry over the next few years through mergers and acquisitions. Thirdly, Gibraltar has always become, Gibraltar has always been attractive to private equity investors. I believe that private equity participation in the Gibraltar insurance industry will continue in the short to medium term. This is very, very important for Gibraltar, but equally, it's just as important for the UK. Gibraltar insurance companies provide capacity to the UK market, create competition, helps keep prices down, and in the process, have created thousands of jobs in the UK. The recently announced continuation of the common market between Gibraltar and the UK is not new. It's a continuation of the political agreement which was reached between the Gibraltar and UK governments 
17 years ago with the implementation of the Gibraltar Order. The Gibraltar Order was absolutely necessary because EU law does not apply between Gibraltar and the UK. Gibraltar and the UK are not separate member states. Gibraltar is part of the same member states as the UK. And therefore the Gibraltar Order was necessary in order to create that common market. What Gibraltar and the UK have now done is to reaffirm the current arrangements going forward. In many ways, this is a reconfirmation of the solid political relationship between the UK and the Gibraltar government. Key to the success of the Gibraltar insurance product has been having a responsive and approachable regulator. Responsiveness, what does that mean? To me, it means speed to market. How quickly can a Gibraltar regulator respond to the needs of individual businesses in Gibraltar? Gibraltar has a very good track record in relation to this. Licenses are issued in record time compared to other jurisdictions. This clearly has to continue. Approachability. This is absolutely vital for Gibraltar businesses. How quickly can you engage? How quickly and how easily can you engage with your regulator? In Gibraltar, if you ask for a meeting with the Financial Services Commission, you are likely to get it within a week. Licensees are able to pick up the phone and speak to their supervisors. Again, absolutely critical to the success of the Gibraltar product. But of course, with regulation, with regulation comes responsibility. But Gibraltar and the Gibraltar insurance industry and regulatory regime is at par with the UK. This is because the underlying legislation is exactly the same. It's sourced from the Solvency II regulations.